Hello, my name is Brennan, and for the COD World War II Zombie fans, I'm going to show you how to upgrade Pack-A-Punch on Bodega Cervantes. So to do this, just on round one, run through this windmill. Hopefully you only have one zombie left. And you're going to look over at this bridge. Now if you have a scope on, preferably four times or above, you'll be able to see a little target there on the bridge. Once you shoot it, you're going to do a little shooting gallery mini game. And I must warn you, zombies will not leave you alone for this. So best to have shell shot candy. You're going to be done with a lot of flinch on every shot. After you knock all of them down, the upgrade part is going to just kind of teleport. It'll appear at your feet down here in this fruit. And now when you go to pack a punch, you can now pack a punch your Tesla gun and your melee weapons. So, odds are you probably have to play this solo, because, let's face it, if you're on PC, there aren't many of us left. So, a good solo loadout for this is extended bags on your M1 carbine with the 4 times scope, S-mines, and a shell shock with at least sustain zone, just to make this a little bit easier. Shooting really doesn't take that long, maybe 20-30 seconds. What I like to do is save the first zombie on round 1, leave it as far away as possible, and then plant an S-mine near the windmill that will eventually kill it. Before I kill it, <laughs> I'm going to start the gallery. Once round 2 starts, I'm going to pop an uber lot in so that I have a fully loaded shell shot, just to be safe. Do remember though, you still have to survive long enough and be lucky enough to pull the Tesla gun out of the box. You see here, I didn't get in one game until round 28, the other around round 25. And I did, this what, I swear this is the last thing, I did fail to mention that the Ripsaw, also on the map, can be upgraded through the same process. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching.